hey what's up fam welcome back to the channel how are you doing my youtube cousins i missed you guys i hope that you missed me as well um i have a whole lot of uploads you guys and we are going to start with this major one right here they are still letting go of workers employees are being let go at a time when things I can't say they won't get any harder because we all know that things are going to get worse, especially in 2024, but this was unexpected. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. This is unbelievable. Please hit that like button if you have not. It does help us get out into the YouTube algorithm. And we appreciate you doing that. Okay, so here we go. If I can make this bigger for you guys, and I'll put myself at the bottom. Uh... Hold on one second. I'm going to turn the camera on here so that we can get this started. All right, here we go. Uh, Hasbro is laying off 900 more employees amid week toy sales what are they talking about what could they possibly be talking about there's no issue with people spending money on things that aren't food right not so what's happening with hasbro is going to be happening to a lot of people if you, you know, if seeing is believing. Hasbro is laying off 900 more employees. I mean, it's Christmas time. People aren't spending for Christmas. They said on Monday it would cut another 900 jobs globally. Nearly a year after the toy maker announced it would reduce 15% of its workforce amid weaker sales. Hasbro has said in January it would cut about 1,000 full-time positions. That's a lot. I, that is a lot. I said hundreds, but this is thousands. That's even worse. On Monday, the company said it had already cut 800 jobs. At the end of 2022, Hasbro had employed about 6,490 people worldwide. The job cuts announced on Monday take the total layoffs to 1,900 or 29% of its workforce. Shares of the company were down about 6% in extended trading, while Barbie maker Mattel also slipped more than 1%. You mean the movie didn't help? Did y'all watch that Barbie movie? Let me know in the comments. Did y'all enjoy that movie? Put a one in there if you did. Put a two if you did not. Put a three if you don't care. <laughs> So I did watch it. I didn't go to the movie theater to watch it, though. Um, I used uh, this. I can't remember what this thing is. But anyway, I watched it. It was OK. It wasn't worth going to the theater to see. So it says market headwinds. We anticipate have proven to be stronger and more persistent than planned. So they thought that Christmas coming up, you know, the holiday season, maybe shopping would pick up for that. But people are still struggling to figure out, you know, what bills they're going to not pay all of, but pay some of just so they'll have enough money to get some food for their families. So it says consumers worldwide have struggled to cope with persistently high inflation. 
forcing them to cut back on discretionary spending, including toys and focus more on buying essentials. And even then, y'all, it's hard to buy these essentials out here. It really is. Even with the deflation that they, they, they're they talking about that's going to happen uh, in the coming months, it's still going to be hard to buy food because food prices are not going down. Not as long as that demand is there. And if that demand is there, they're going to have the prices higher. One, it helps them when it comes to how their shelves look. Two, is giving them more money in their pocket. What they're more concerned about, these big companies like Walmart, Target, etc., they're worried about when deflation does happen, it's not happening to the food. However, it is happening to toys. It is happening to electronics. But like this article is saying, people are not really buying those things the way they used to. They're holding on to what they have a little bit longer, even clothes. People are holding on to shoes that they might have replaced or just got another pair just because they're holding on to what they have. Uh, it says in October, the company joined rival Mattel in warning of a weak holiday season and indicating that consumers were being frugal heading into the most important periods of, well, for retailers. The headwinds we saw through the first nine months of the year have continued into holiday and are likely to persist into 2024. I keep telling y'all, 2024 is bringing you a new year, but it's not bringing you new situations. Um, the maker of Transformers action figures and Monopoly on Monday said that majority of its employees will be notified over the next six months, while the balance would occur over the next year. So people are working jobs right now knowing that they may not have a job in 2024. They may not have a job in 2025. Hasbro, if it doesn't turn around. Hasbro also said its Providence, Rhode Island office was not being used to its full capacity and the company had decided to exit it at the end of its lease term in January of 2025. So they are shutting down a whole facility, January 2025, and we haven't even got to January 2024. So when I tell you the economy is going to take a hit, especially when deflation starts happening, it really is. And then when you look at the supplies that are coming in, those are going to be less and less um, February 1st because the Panama Canal is reducing how many ships go through down to 18. Hasbro now expects to deliver, oh, what happened? To deliver gross annual run rate cost saving of about 350 million to 400 million by the end of 2025, up from its previous estimates of 250 million, 250 million to 300 million. So, it's about them saving them. It's not that they're not going to make money. They want to make more money. And in order to make more money, we got to let go of some people. We got to close up some facilities. And sadly, this won't be the only company that will be doing that come the new year. So you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you think below. Um, that's not news that you want to have, especially going into the Christmas holiday, knowing that well, I might not have a job next year, or I know I'm not going to have a job next year, and I know I'm not going to have a job in 2025, and others are saying, well, dang, I ain't got a job now. So let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Do you think it's going to get worse? Um, eventually, things will turn around, but it doesn't seem like that is going to happen anytime soon. So this is why we pray, plan, and prep. Because you don't know, you could be working a job today, working a job, and everything seems fine. But behind the scenes, the big wheels are turning, and they are coming up with a way that they can make more money and not lose any. And if that means losing you, then 
so be it. Merry Christmas to you all. And I'm not, you know, being rude and saying that, but that's how it comes off to give this announcement right before the holidays to add extra stress to those who are already stressing because you could be working a job. It doesn't mean that you're able to pay all your bills. It doesn't mean that you're able to have an abundance of food that you need in your home for your family. You may be working from paycheck to paycheck. It doesn't matter how much you're making a month because everything has gone up. Your bills have gone up. Your The interest rates have gone up. So you're paying out more money, meaning you're not making enough that you might have been making three years ago to make your ends meet. So again, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button because it does help this channel get out to more people and more people hopefully will decide that they want to subscribe to Tommy Bites TV and Homestead and become a part of our YouTube family, which I call you cousins. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I do love you so, so much, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. I'll holla. So y'all, this was this was an interesting video. It really, really was very, very interesting video. Why do I have two screens open? Anywho, why do I have two screens open? I wonder if they were open the whole time. Anyway, love you guys. Take care.